Okay, let's go through the serve. We'll work backwards. With the serve, 26 letters in the alphabet. Here's almost 26 images on the serve. Hang on to the racket like a hammer. Tap the edge of the hammer. It's finger, 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 thumb, finger. Go spaghetti like a puppet on the string. Very, very loose. Take the throw to the racket, put it right over your wrist. Like a baseball player, take the ball out of the glove. Stand on your skateboard to the deuce court. Skateboard to the ad court. Your weight's forward, bathroom scale one. Bring your weight back to bathroom scale two. Now you'll have knee rotation. The knees turn in, the hip turns in. Very important to turn this left hip to the net post to the right. This is the third base position. This arm's gonna be bent. We call it the cobra position. It'll be very, very loose. Shoulder one, elbow two, wrist three. You're in this position. Now it's the comb the hair action. Salute. All the way, way away from your body. Not here, but out here. The salute position. Now with the comb the hair action. Talk on the telephone. Give the giant the high five. Make the power X. You see the wristwatch. You step. Go to your pocket. With this arm, hang on to a glass of water. You make a letter J. Take the ball out to one o'clock. The toss is going to go this way. Like you're taking a piece of bread and you're reaching up and giving it to the giraffe. The serve back here, you actually with the palm down. Racket goes 90 degrees, goes around this way. And now clear the shelf like this. Hang a string from the ceiling. Put a little piece of tape at your outstretched, outstretched arm and racket. Go slow to fast in this position. At your stage of development, you're very good right now just to continue to use a platform stance. You're going to swing, and you go left to right going up like this. This is going to be your power line. You're leaning in this way in this position. The overhead, the overhead like the serve is a throwing motion. Practice swinging the sock. Keep the palm down and go this way. When the palm goes up, the balls in the sock will hit you. With the overhead, quickly set the racket up in this position. You're close to this, but use your left hand longer and keep the racket going like this. Racket face down. Now you come around, go up and out. Use crossover steps. That'll get you further back and give you more body rotation. Use your left arm first here, second here. It works as a reactive break. So you decelerate the left side, you accelerate the right. Your continental grip, grip on number two, the second panel. The base knuckle of your index finger and your heel pad. You're going to swing as a righty from left to right. But the strings face your target. So here's the overhead. Here's the serve. Efficient. You can scratch your ear like this, or you take three laps around your head and scratch your ear. Be efficient. Forehand volley. Ready position. Get your elbow up. Your elbow's in. The racket goes way back. Be in this position. You could use a composite grip, which is between two and three. Don't use two. Many people teach two, but the racket faces over 45 degrees. I get that when I spin the racket eight times because there's eight sides. There's 360 degrees. 360 divided by 8 is 45. Don't volley like this. But you do need to change the angle of the racket face, so now you can change the angle of the racket path. Step and swing. Don't let your left arm go this way. Out in front. Almost like you're clapping hands, but the left hand is in front in this position. The racket starts at a 45 degree angle, and it finishes at a 45 degree angle. You step and swing together. Body's going to be lined up to the net post to the right. Eyes are at the hip. So get in front of the mirror, check the checkpoints. Forehand ground stroke. Simplify the forehand ground stroke. Start with your grip on three. Remember to return to serve. You can turn where you're lined up where you can steal the ace. Like the racket's a wall to the ball. A volley with an added follow through. So you turn like this first. Very similar to what Roger Federer does. And now you use your left hand to make the grip change. Just go to the bottom of the third panel. For the service line in, you can volley with what's called a composite grip. It's between two and three, because you have to play the low ball on the forehand volley. It used to be called the Australian grip. 
Now on the return to serve, turn on three, the third panel. One, two, three. Your palm is in this position. The racket has an extension to your palm. So now you can change the grip, which will help you tilt the racket face down. So you go in this position. Now over the bridge, then up the hill. But you gotta go way down, going up to the bottom, go to the bottom step of the stair so you can go way up. Relax the swing, whether it's a top spin lob, off pace passing shot, relax the swing from the elbow, not from the wrist in this position. So circular swing, round the beach ball. So shadow swing in front of the mirror, point of reference. You can put a ball on a cone. The swing's gonna go high, low, high, inside out. So here's your volley. Now your forehand ground strokes gonna help you on approach shots, passing shots. Here, now go underneath when the body goes down, the racket goes down. You're standing tall, you get short, and then you get tall. You lift. You lift with your body and racket. It's an upward motion of the body and racket so the spin will go down. On your hands, you're going to go two hands, and now when you hit, one, and when you finish, two. Now granted, the top players, I think of Federer. Federer catches the racket when he warms up. Now when he plays, he hits the ball so far away from his body, he doesn't catch the racket, but he still honors decelerating this shoulder, staying over the ball, keeping the head fixed, your own head. Backhand volley, turn, change your grip, straighten your arm, swing forward, left arm back in this position, but you don't have a backhand grip. The angle of your racket face is determined by the grip you're using, which is closer to a forehand. Your left elbow's down, your right arm's bent, and you're volleying like this. Right hand's down, left arm's up. Use your left hand as a crutch this way. You should hit some two-handed volleys because you're a two-handed player. For example, on a return to serve. Turn, change the grip, straighten the arm. The left hand is just like a forehand. It's been proven in research that the left, left hand does the work. Left forearm. The muscles expand. So you're going to turn in this position for the two-handed backhand and you go around and up. Two-handed volley is like this. Now the one-handed volley, same racket pattern, like the racket swing across an ironing board, this way. So backhand volley, the two-handed backhand volley, your return to serve, like a volley with an added follow-through. Now on your backhand ground stroke, your racket face opens up severely, so like your forehand. Your forehand, the racket face is here. It goes way behind you. You have to recruit the muscles and pull. So you have a swing on your forehand that goes over 180 degrees on the 20 degree court. Backhand is better, but it's not good enough. High, low, high, inside out. Get your arm on the inside. Turn the body, turn your back to the net. Now from in here, you're gonna close the racket head. Now you lift up this front leg. Go way out away from your body. And the finish is this way. So I have back chain, I go backwards, and the racket goes right where I want it to. You would do this and have to drop your shoulders, and that means somewhere during the hit, the racket had moved this much. The underspin backhand, turn, get more than sideways to stay sideways. Lead in with the bottom edge of the racket. Go slightly down to go up this way. Go through the tape several times. 42 second drill. Go slow. We went through seven strokes. Repeat the movement. Now you should go through our course called the Great Base Initiative. It'll take you one hour. You want to become a student of the game. When you miss, you know why you missed. You have to have great skills. Confidence comes from winning. Winning comes from skills. Skills come from practice and know-how. So this tape has helped you with the know-how. What you need to do, three secrets of tennis, is practice, practice, practice. So again, get in front of the mirror. You got a brother, you got a sister, you need to practice. Have them just toss balls to you, you just toss balls to them. For example, you don't want to volley like this, volley like this. And then what you have to do is repeat, repeat, repeat. In any sport, be fundamentally sound, you have to be brilliant with basics. All right, good luck.